Mick Harding and his family produce authentic Aboriginal products at their home studio in Victoria's Gippsland. All we have to do is imagine and then turn into reality. I started the business because I wanted to create quality in terms of the types of timber that I was using and quality in terms of the symbolic um, representation. So I started making Aboriginal artefacts, boomerangs and shields, and then I've just gone from that to drawing the artwork on all kinds of different things to sell as giftwares. His business is called Dancing Wombat, and as you'd imagine, there's a story behind it. And it was all on the pretext that when no one's looking at the wombats, they're all out there having fun, having a party, they're dancing, you know, they're really enjoying themselves, and we don't happen to see that. Mick is not only highly skilled, he's also highly qualified in both Aboriginal studies and fine art. It's a remarkable achievement for someone who left school young. I failed Form 3, which is known as Year 9 today, and I went on to be a labourer working in factories for the next 10 years. I probably didn't really believe much in myself, um, so then I went back to school in the November of 1987 with the idea that I would just do the very best I could do, and now I've got a Masters in Fine Art from Federation Unis. So I'd proved I could actually do something and be something if I, if I put my mind to it. Just like the Wombats, there's a lot about Mick's story you can't see at first. Growing up in Melbourne, Mick believed his ancestry was Maori, the Polynesian people of New Zealand. You know, I never knew about my Aboriginality for the first 20 odd years of my life. Me, when I was a little boy, with my grandmother, my father's mother. A little house in um, Cromwell Street in Collingwood. Fortunately enough, I've been able to find that out and uh, explore it. And, you know, some 30 or 40 years later, I've just continued to explore and express my identity. For Mick, creating authentic artworks is a great way to connect with his Aboriginal heritage. I've got about a 30 year history working in cultural heritage. During that period, I had met all kinds of Aboriginal people across Victoria and Australia and really got to understand the sense of symbology down here in the southeast. The kinds of symbols that I use, I just play with them to try and mix and match them and tell my story. But they're all based around our traditional symbols and the stories behind those traditional symbols. Good day, Mick. How are you hey. going? Good to see you again. Yeah, Mick has worked closely with Indigenous Business Australia, creating a business plan and raising startup funding. The IBA startup package is a significant contributor to Mick's success because the startup package gives you a kickstart in the business. Hi David, how are you going? What's happening? This is the uh, laser machine that IBA helped us to purchase. We always knew that we could contact David and here we are today. We've got a laser cutter and um, we see this is probably a stepping stone to get even bigger. Like many owner operators, Mick has recently boosted his online presence. We really invested a lot of time in making sure the, the website was right. We also made sure that all our socials were really good. One of the most sought after designs is the wedge-tailed eagle, a protected native bird found across Victoria. But we often see them soaring around, whether it's the laser cutter, whether it's me burning it on, on implements myself, it's a really popular thing that people um, like to buy from me. With Mick's family operating the laser cutter as well, Dancing Wombat's output and revenue has tripled over the past year. This laser machine was part of the grant component as well. That meant a easier passage for him to pay off his loan repayments. So you're gonna cut them, are you? So I'm cu that's cutting the white out so I can draw behind Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. When IBA looks at anything in terms of a business, we surely look at how does the family support the individual. And Mick is all about family. What I do is not just expressing who I am, but also expressing my connection to my country about how I can help to heal country and heal myself and heal my community. Our people have been here for over 2,000 generations. That's a long, long, long while. We want to be able to continue to connect to that and then share it with everyone else as well.